Moscato. No, no, no. Moscato. I look like a Moscato type of man. <laughs> like you drink pink Moscato. Gotcha, man. Ooh, straight out the wine cellar. Straight man. out the wine cellar. Yeah. Pink Moscato? <laughs> yeah. I, I fuck with pink Moscato. I drink that shit. I, I like pink Moscato too. I'm not going to lie. Uh, it got to be with a vibe though. I got to be like with a girl. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Movie date. Mm-hmm. Man. Wings. Man, chicken wings. Wings and fucking wine? Yeah. I've never Clean done it down, that. candles burning, all that. Just chill. That's like some cool shit. Some Baccarat candles burning, make it smell good. You feel what I'm saying? Oh, they got. So I know the Baccarat cologne. I ain't up to these candles. Yeah, they having candles. So this, so this, uh, the yes. ideal date, right? It's it's the Baccarat candle, pink Moscato, and wings. Wings, pizza. What kind of? What is there? Pineapples on this piece pizza? No, it's meat lover. Meat lovers. She a meat lover. <laughs> I'm going pepperoni. Uh-huh. <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? But you know, meat lover for the ladies. Um, just got to let her know what she, you know, what we're whatever she picks. It really is her choice. Yeah. Really her choice, really. You know what if what if a girl picks like pineapple and pineapple pizza and come That's cool. I'll try it. you try it? I'll try it for her. Just for her? But I'm not just buying no, like, hey, man, let me get a, um, <laughs> a, a pepperoni pizza with a, a meat large, a, a large, large, a large <laughs> pepperoni pineapple pizza oh, the fuck no fuck hell no nah, bro i tried it once in like middle school but it's not a thing like i was out you know out being in the suburbs sometimes you end up having to try stuff like yeah that. for sure because you know all the white kids are gonna they're gonna order some pineapple pizza yeah. and then you mad as hell like what the fuck is wrong with y'all but it really goods? it really take the tangy taste of it and then with the sweetness so it's yeah. like really good like you just really got to try shit that's what i because i'm a picky eater you, you know are? what i'm saying so but now like as i'm like you know what i'm saying Expanding and just growing, and mm-hmm. like, I gotta try something new. Ain't nothing wrong with trying something new. Ain't nothing wrong. What was what was the last thing you tried new that was like you end up actually liking? Um, egg roll, like um, on Philly cheese egg roll. Oh wow, <laughs> I didn't expect that at all because that sounds fire. Yeah, like I don't eat egg rolls at all, so it's like I love egg rolls. Oh, no. I mean, I, well, I love egg rolls. Chinese food in New York is way better. Like you ever Chinese food in New York? Nah. I don't oh. eat Chinese food no more. Like, that shit just what my stomach. <laughs> oh, it's my stomach, bro. It's my gonna stomach. Say some other shit. <laughs> yeah, I can't fucking deal with it, bro. Man, it's crazy. Uh, no, nah, I went to New York like I think like two months ago, and we had Chinese yeah. food. Like it was down the street, and there was roaches crawling in the place, and we just knew yeah. it was about to be the best nah, shit ever. Was it was but fucking it was hard, but but it was ink, but like it really just bite right, <laughs> and like like. It was buying, good. Buying mean good. Like, it Atlanta, was buying. Atlanta. It was buying. That motherfucker buying. We, bro, there was a roach crawling. I looked at Saint. I looked at the, no, the, my director. It was crawling on me, bro. Oh, yeah. It was crawling on him. See, nah. See, I can't, <laughs> see, nah, I can't just be bro. doing that, though. That you know but that's a sign of it's going to be good, though. Yeah, you you right. Like, because it had the fake yeah, A right. plus on the, the health that's side. Cap. You know, I knew it was cap. <laughs> it was over. There's a roach on me right now. No. Like. <laughs> that's crazy. Two minutes. Two minutes. I promise you. It was raining. This nigga say, I thought it was like, hey, at first, I didn't know. Because, like, you know, it's my me and Saint, we've only been on a few trips. We've yeah. never, like, been to places where it's a roll. It's a different type of, you know, situation when a yeah. roach is calling. Like, I don't know how he's going to react to it. Because I'm like, in my head, I'm like, like this is about to be chill, good yeah, food. Yeah. This is about to be amazing. <laughs> so you see the road like oh, oh yeah, yeah this shit buying that's like, like the Jamaican spots I know I'm Jamaican and it's I only a terrible like ja- typical see I gotta if I go Jamaican I gotta go oxtails yeah and yeah oxtails and rice, rice. them rice and peas cabbage yeah uh, rice just white rice no rice and peas no I like the gravy like I was drying them up with gravy with the with, rice just oxtails with the white rice. rice with the white rice Wow, you different for that one. Yeah, I'm but different. I, I'm, but you know what? Like you said, I try it. Though. Try it. Let's let's start trying, little kids. Let's start trying new things. That's what yeah. we getting from this to start yeah. it off. We usually start <laughs> off with an intro, but we start off with something even better. But I will say, it is your boy Hakeem, and this, you know, we're here today Key with Lil Key. Him. Key You're talk watching, to him. Key talk to him. You're watching our generation music. I didn't even get to give the typical yo yo yo, but I just did. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, let's do it. All right. So um, we are at the infamous, the famous snake pit. 
The Snake Pit, man, YSL headquarters, you know what I'm saying? This fucking Snake Pit. So many hits have been made out of this place. <laughs> yeah. It's absolutely crazy. You walk around, there's plaques all over the wall. There's huge plaques. There's paintings of all the most influential people. Yeah. And, you know, that's come through here or just in music type shit. But the most dope thing I seen was the snakes and then the tarantula. Yeah. I've never seen that pair before. And you didn't see the wild cat. There's a wild cat? Yeah, he's locked in a room in the, in the slam room. What was it? Oh, he's it hiding. Don't, yeah, her name Tootie. Tootie? Yeah. Who got, is that, was Tootie a gift from one of you guys or just like a random um, cat? No, he bought it. Oh, okay, Slime yeah. bought it. He bought all this shit, man. He just like, buy shit. <laughs> oh, oh, God. I've, you know, the first time I came here, I came for the Turbo one and there was a Lambo. Um, the Lambert, the Aventador. The Aventador, I, yeah, the black one. It was out there. Yeah. And then now it comes a Maybach truck. And now it's like a whole different other yeah, shit. I'm yeah, like, just the old school. Old school Maybach. You know what I'm saying? Like, all the cars put up, though. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. Um, did you did you have a favorite off the new album? Mm, I like Peeping Out the Window. Okay. Um, I like Bubbly. But that's my, I'm going to say Bubbly first. Bubbly hard. Bubbly hard is a motherfucker. <laughs> I really wish that baby would have. Turn his verse in, because yeah, I, <laughs> I that. can hear all that together. That shit be like crazy. crazy. And Weezy, bro, like the, Weezy, he the best. Just one of the best producers, man. Like this, every time like I see produced by Weezy, it's like even if I don't like the artist, I'm gonna go listen to it. Yeah, I got it. You know what I'm saying? Like I gotta hear this shit. You know, what Weezy, I'm he just and he sits. You no, know, everybody got their own room. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? If you seen like yeah. name on the rooms and stuff, so yeah, Weezy room back there. Man, the like, cook up. That's what he the, cooked a lot of stuff up in there. Oh this, this this big right now. The melody on that is super dope too. It's mm-hmm. super different. I really like the change up, like how Drake changed it up. Okay. See how I first come on, then Drake mm-hmm. change it up. Me and Lil Thug on Flea. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. He changed the whole vibe up. So like he good at he great at it. Like I really fuck with Drake. Yeah, nah. I Drake is one of my favorite artists, yeah, man. man. I got to meet him a while ago. It's his birthday tomorrow. Yeah. Actually. I think they're having a party or something. Happy birthday. Happy Early birthday, birthday to, Drake. To the six god. Drizzy. Hey, you know what's speaking of Drake and you? You had the show at 2019 the, at the Novo. At the Novo, which I was at. And it's crazy because Drake tagged you at first, but he tagged the wrong little, page. <laughs> he tagged the wrong he tagged page. Like, um, because this back then it was one little key. Oh. It was like one little key. I think he he tagged like a fan page. He tagged like a on um, fan page or some shit like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That shit was crazy because I'm like, what the fuck, bro? Like this random ass account getting all these followers, oh, bro. Sending so many followers. I'm like, bro, that's what? the wrong fucking account. <laughs> but like, it's still good. Like, I still like, you know what I'm saying, got a lot of followers. Yeah, 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 yeah. I you mean, saying? it was it was a dope moment for you because not only it was like. Not only did he didn't just throw your song up on the store, or whatever. Yeah, he like he knew too to much. He, he came to my shit. But he already been hit me up like, bro, I fuck with your shit. Like, I really like, mm-hmm. um, I really ride to him. He's like, you he motivation to me. He it's, told me this. That's crazy. That's he one of the biggest artists in the world, man. Telling oh, you God, that you're that is the biggest artist in the world. Yeah. That's fucking And I think, I think like, me, me, him and shit, like just being around you know, in his prison and stuff, like it showed me like. You can do shit, it too? Hey man, what? I am going to do it. You feel what I'm saying? You got to make room for me, Drake. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Yeah, I'm on the 23, bro. Yeah, no, it's, you know, what's super dope about like a lot of the young artists. And I've noticed too, like even my little homie Maddox, right? Like mm-hmm. he came in the game as a kid. Yeah. And he's having this crazy second reassurance, uh, resurgence in his career. Yeah. With everyone, like all the new kids are going after him for verses and shit. So mm-hmm. it's like really dope to see. Cause you know, there's probably like people that counted the little nigga out. And now it's like, uh. See, I had that. Man, got it. Mm-hmm. All the rappers wanted to put up, like, really pull up on us, and, like, all the time back then. Yeah. But, like, I just distanced myself. You feel what I'm saying? Like, I just really, I was never, like, the type of person, like, when I meet you, like, oh, damn, I met. It's yeah. cool. But I never, like, no fan shit. Like, mm-hmm. I fought with your music. Like, I, I used to watch these folks on YouTube and I, I'm around them, but I ain't never been no fan. Like, not, yeah. like no fanned out groupy ass nigga. Like, <laughs> hey, but let's take a picture real fast. I ain't never did that. You can ask them. Mm-hmm. Key, I'm doing me. I'm chilling. Just like this. I'm chilling. You feel what I'm saying? You going to keep. Like, man, Key, cool. Key can pull up. Mm-hmm. Key ain't on that. Make a video. Yeah. Do all that. Let's make a video every five seconds. Shit, I ain't on that. Man, come on. I'm going to start too. 
Exactly. We all stars in this motherfucker. What's popping? Oh God, I feel that a hundred percent, man. You dig? That's how you got to carry yourself, like. And I learned a lot, like just being in the industry. Like when I first came in, I'm green. I was green to the industry. I'm like, man, uh-huh. God damn, right, really green. But now I know the ins and outs. I know what the do's and don'ts. Yeah, it's it's a crazy thing too because people will love to come around like the type of life or just the things we live, and it's just like you. It comes with a lot. It comes with a lot, bro. You're not ready. If for you this. ain't ready for like your shit to be like our eyes on you, and you like if you ain't ready for folks to be in your business, this ain't the type of business for it's you. So crazy. I, it's like. I like have friends that make music or just people I know growing up and they'll say they want to do. I'm like, and I look at you and I'm like, bro, I know, bro, you're not built for this, bro. Like you, you don't know what it's like when you got, bro, like your random people hitting your mom up, like, oh, yeah. da, 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 like <laughs> yeah. crazy shit. Like, yeah. are, you, are you sure you're ready for all this shit? Like, and it was so crazy. Like I was, I would prepare myself not knowing I was preparing myself. Really? When I say that, to say this is like. I used to be listening to Thor, old song, like I Came For Nuns and stuff like that. And I used to be rapping the song, like the Rich Gang mm-hmm. album and shit. Like I used to be rapping them songs, holding a comb, a rat tail comb in the mirror. Like we had a mirror, like like this my room, this mm-hmm. got it room. And like we had a closet door and they had a mirror, like a like a um, ceiling to flow mirror. So yeah. like I used to be in the motherfucker rapping, rapping with the rat tail comb. It's like, but I was preparing myself for this For the this big moment, stage. Not knowing. Not no, I'm gonna be a rapper. I just love music. So, so there was, so there was never a thought growing up that you and got it like you both even just even both of you like yo like we're gonna be rappers this and that da, da, da. what what was Lil Keith planning to be if you know this didn't work out? I was playing basketball. Were you good though? Come on, man. Point guard now. You, was- bro. I'm telling you. I'm All that. This. I was doing this. He shit. done. You ain't watch the look. see look, my team. My team suck. When I played, got down dirt. Crew league, them. couple years ago. The crew league, but I didn't have the right team. They were just like some shit, like late, late, like everybody just like we just going. You actually the from. only team that pulled up with your actual gang. Yeah, it was you strict the DJ. I ain't gotta go recruit nobody. I, if I would have pulled up with a team, cause Chris Brown put his been on my team. Mm-hmm. Thug puts me in playing, cause Thug can play. Mm-hmm. Oh, Thug can, can play re- basketball. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like shoot, real left what hand shoon like you know he left handed so like he really know how to play basketball though oh okay real shit oh god I just, Duke know how to real shooter can shoot your lights at like we have like real okay, ball like, okay. like you know what I'm saying we have like right there with a court outside like we shoot for mm-hmm. big money like all day time to night time shoot I have seen some of the videos of you guys shooting out there a lot, like, yeah. but it's like cool because Instagram, you don't know how many times. It's yeah, see, taken. G, see, look, G Herbo, he he brought the the, the lethal shooter as his coach, and, <laughs> but he sucked. So it's like, <laughs> like you bring the coach, but hey, like, that you was still a suck. good one dude, because you know what's the name? Uh, Russ, I think Russ won the whole thing that one. Yeah, um, no, um, 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 Ray no, switch Sway Sh- 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 Lee did. My Sway Lee, the homie Sway Lee did win. My bad, I Sway Lee, about Sway that. Lee. Ruin, ruin the whole thing So like Yeah It was like But fuck Like if I really had my team They ass is grass Like You seen the You seen the punk fake I did The rondo motherfucker The mm-hmm. Man that shit Did it post that motherfucker On his page That motherfucker was too lethal But the nigga kicked me in the head And then got them Well that's a good fake though You got the call Man that motherfucker He went over my head Like that how hard it was He too mm-hmm. busy trying to block my shot I yeah. knowing this Cause I, y'all be Y'all just I'm watching y'all Dunk during the warm up, y'all dunking like a motherfucker, y'all. Mm-hmm. All extra, yeah. Yeah. See me, so I know you jumping. If I go like this, I got something for you. Exactly. I run though your stupid ass. <laughs> Ball here. Yeah. Motherfucker ain't. It's cuffed, so it ain't going nowhere. Mm-hmm. He fly over my head, but he his foot kicked me, so I ain't never go up for the layup. That shit hurt, so I just dropped the ball and let it roll out of bounds. But that shit hurt. No, I got. I crossed one of them nigga ass up sideline, mm. fade away. <laughs> Yeah, but her boy ain't make no shot. I ain't he ain't make no shot. Nah, but then my boy though, he like no he talked so much shit too. Was, I, I want a rematch against his team. It's the same team. I'm gonna bring my real team. And oh we God. can do that. I would love to see that. The new crew league is coming up, so that's gonna be really dope. The last one was really dope. Chris Brown did win. Yeah, he and, won one. And I actually went to Chris Brown's house to play basketball last week. And at first, you know, going you there. You were a YK or Sergeant? No, nah, I wasn't there that day. Yeah, because he suck. He do suck. Sorry, mm-hmm. bro. You suck. But you suck. <laughs> you suck, bro. <laughs> you suck, bro. Uh, you like that little meme, bro. 
I played it's one crazy. game. I played one game with the niggas. I had like five. Like, uh, I was like, oh yeah, this five. Oh yeah, we won the game. Nigga, I'm so out of fucking shape, bro. The truck Yeah, so then small. that's what it is. Like, I'm like, bro, they're trying to, I'm like, go oh, run it again, run it again, bro. When I told you my stomach, I felt like I had no stomach, bro. <laughs> yeah. You just I got know. chest and, and thighs. I, I'm like, like bro, I'm, what, what's going on, nigga? Like, I'm running around. I feel no stomach. I'm like, I'm like yo, do I quit yeah. right now? I'm like, I'm about to quit playing basketball with Chris Brown right now. These niggas going to be mad as hell not letting me come back over here again to play ball. And I kept feeling my stomach just deteriorate after the, I'm like, nah, I'm done. They're like, you done? I'm like, yeah. yeah. You got really been in shape for this shit. This shit really like. It's crazy. Yeah, then, like, but it's cool though. It's fun. I, I just love like, like we all didn't be able to get together and you yeah. know what I'm saying? do stuff like that. They had like Drewski hosting it. Mm -hmm. His fun ass. I fuck with Drewski. Drewski's a funny dude. He's a funny person, bro. Like a real dude, funny is there a lot dude, of, bro. Is, is there a lot of like people in Atlanta like that remind you of Drewski? Drewski's like. I don't fuck funnier than Drewski. Really? On oh, my mama in the hood. I swear <laughs> to God. It's, just, it's, it's my homeboy named Christian. Like, uh -huh. He funny. Is fuck like little big funny, mm -hmm. be slime. Um, throw a nephew on uh, who's on people um at the window. Yeah, with yeah featuring yeah. him funny. Got it. Got funny it is, is a funny motherfucker. Is a, you just took imagine it my growing mouth. up with him though. Like bro, he funny in here is hell, bro. Every time yeah. I see him, I don't know what happened. I guess I didn't do something, but something happened. He's like he seen me first, and he said, "Lay in hell, boy." I'm like, bro, come here, give me a hug. <laughs> yeah, give, oh, you know but you lame. love me. <laughs> but he like Big you lame, man. Little lame, man. Lay lame, man. He joining with you. He loves yeah. cracking jokes. Yeah, he bro. funny here. Yeah. He's so funny, man. What's so? What was the dynamic? So him growing <laughs> up, he was a funny kid, and you were more. Were you more quiet? I'm funny here you, too. <laughs> I mean, he funnier though. It's like I don't know. Like, see me, <laughs> see it's like it's like when I when I start getting older, I really just like I used to drone like a motherfucker back in school, but I just like chilled out. Like okay, but I like he gonna he gonna say some shit that's so funny, bro. Like if nobody get it, I get what the hell he trying to say. So uh -huh. like it'd be funny you're to me. You feel what I'm saying? It might not be funny to everybody, else, but it's funny because I know what the fuck you talking, talking about. Yeah, yeah. You feel what I'm saying? Like we could like like when we drone, we compare yeah to movies, all type of shit. Like mm -hmm. it's different types of droning. You feel what I'm saying? But. His ass funny in hell though, man. We have great laughs. Isn't Dog it? funny in hell. Gunner funny as fuck. These folk funny. Like real shit. Hey, yeah, crime, bro. Like real tears. Oh, what? I swear to God. I really took, always took Thug as a serious person. Like No. Yeah, he, he, nah, he's serious for sure. Yeah. But like, like when he chilling, like we vibing, like as like 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 we do Damn. as a family. Bro, the man is so funny, bro. Real, bro. What's the funniest thing like Stug has ever said to you, or like, and or like in a setting, the funniest thing, and y'all always dying or some shit. Oh, we was at his um his last party last year. Um, he had the Palm Springs. Uh -huh. Remember we shot the video, and um everybody was there and stuff. So one of my one of um my little partner's cousin got out of jail. He had just got out of prison. He done did like five years, mm -hmm. and got them. He came here, he had, like, we we all went to the house and shit. So he had on Mitch matching, like, a pink K-Swiss and a green K-Swiss. Oh, my God. With a SpongeBob <laughs> sock. Like, he just all lost. Like, he just got out of prison. So we just standing right there and thought, said, oh. Boy, look at that boy. He think he got that shit on. <laughs> so I'm be laughing. He said, look at that. He said, oh, you can tell he used to be big. He used to be fat back in the day because his leg big and foot, but he's skinny. He said, but he used to be fat back then. He said, he like got diabetes in his leg. I was laughing so goddamn hard, bro. Ain't like he knew that uh -huh. Slime was talking about him. So he got up, he got up and got down, walked off. And Sean like, yeah, that's what you had better do. Uh -huh. But man, he did. Man, uh, he'll join anybody. He don't give a fuck who you is. He'll oh join your ass. Oh, God. You know what? And you wouldn't even know that he doing it. It was so crazy and then we all be laughing. Like Gunner funny here. Especially like when he do like the belly shit. Like he know the whole belly movie. He like, does? Hell yeah. He know like everything about that motherfucker. When he do it, like he sound just like DMX them. Lonely DMX, but he sound just like them folk. Mm -hmm. And now them, man. That shit so funny, bro. That's a classic movie, It's right classic, there. man. That's a it's crazy too, because right laughs, now, man. We're like have the I mean it's a completely different thing, but we have green lights going. But in that movie, the intro just yeah. that such a legend. Like the walk through through the club. The, the blue and then their eyes like bro that shit was I really I, I really got them had copied that that shit um when I did the um 
for Trap Don't Clean It Through, I had them did like the walkthrough through Blaze, this club I be in in Atlanta. Mm -hmm. I did the same shit. This shit was hard. It really matched that shit. That's fire. Yeah. Did you, so is that one of your favorite movies or what is like your favorite movie? Nah, or? Chainsaw Massacre is my favorite movies. Like movie and Friday. I watch all the Fridays. Friday? Oh, but. Yeah. You know what? Technically, the, yeah. Friday, the second one, is a Christmas movie. No, the third one. This is the, the third the one. The third one is a Christmas. The third one, the Christmas movie. The second one is when he went to uh, his uncle, uncle house. Mm -hmm. Daddy house. Yeah. He said, I ain't never that had nothing like that. That one, Mike Elf first got in Friday. Like, you feel saying? It was the second one. Then the third one, he went to the Christmas. Yeah. The, yeah. The, yeah. Because it's crazy because, like, people don't. Like only us, like us black yeah. people, we can say, and we know the whole Christmas. movie. Like yeah. we'll we'll fuck around, and say the whole quote all they lines, shit. everything. Like we'll quote on quote what said, they doing. I ain't never had nothing like that. I sure as wish I could have something like that. Yeah, <laughs> but that shit so goddamn funny, man. And I watch. Um, look at my uh, roof. Of, he said, "Look at my roof. Look at my roof. They tears." He said, "See, you play too much." <laughs> yeah. He said, I gotta give to do I gotta live here. Uh -huh. Yeah, he tripping. Bruh, and, I just watched that shit yesterday. It but the so way crazy. his voice, like the way his voice changed in that just made it so much more fun. Yeah. He's like, I gotta I got live here. Yeah, yeah he <laughs> tripping. Now nah, that shit fun. Like that shit that just funny. And then we, um my favorite movie too is Life. You ever seen Life? No. Nah. With Eddie Murphy and Martin Lawrence. Oh, when they're they the slaves. For a long time. Yeah, bro. I had they were no fucking slave sick. nigga. They were prisoners. Well, they treat them like slaves. Though. Yeah, but you in know. prison, they like they just got locked up. They were just in a prison, like yeah. just an old prison back in the day type shit. Basically, that slavery. shit so funny, bro. I just watched that today. That's a good one. Yeah, you know what? Funny, what the fuck? I, you know what? I funny I watched recently. Knocked what? up with um um not Jim Carrey, but the other dude, the other funny white guy. Yeah, He's so funny. <laughs> yeah, Seth Rogen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He funny as fuck too. That's a funny. Bro, that era of He movie. played in Funeral with Mar Lawrence and um no. Chris Rock and all them folks. Yes, he did. Seth Rogen was in Funeral? No, that wasn't him. That wasn't that him. That wasn't him? He looked like that nigga. Had, Stop mistaking white people. <laughs> nah, I'm saying they look like. No, they be looking like sometimes. <laughs> look at him, look. <laughs> I just talking shit, bro. You did. You like Chip Red. <laughs> Hey, leave Not my for real. cameraman alone. <laughs> look at Hey, you look like Chibi Red. Chibi Red was a Oh my God. Yo, <laughs> bro. Why you said that? Come here, bro. Come on. Nah, you look like Chibi nah, Red. Look, you look like Chibi Come on. Red, come on. Let them see. Come on. Look into one of this camera right here. Hey, don't, bro, look like Chibi Red. If, Chibi, if he was white. <laughs> shout out to Yeah, shout out to Chibi Red. <laughs> Fuck, bro, this nigga, I knew it was gonna be so funny today. <laughs> I knew it, bro. Like, this nigga, <laughs> his brother's so funny, bro. Um, how would you like, let's talk about music, right? Let's, how, how would you describe your style? Like, cause like, you be just like, when I hear your shit, like, your ad libs are super dope to me. Like, you just hear some little, like, like, can you talk to it? And I'm like, yeah. yeah, like, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, slime ball. Yeah. Like, shit like that. Like, I, like, like I say, like, I looked up to slime, like, like I still look up to Schlein, like that's my idol. So it's like mm -hmm. he always have fucking ad lib that's on point in the right spot. You feel what I'm saying? Mm. So instead of me just like rushing through the ad libs, I like in one take, I put them. I might do them as I'm recording, like putting like my bars down, or yeah. I just go and do them in the right spot, like him. You feel what I'm saying? Because I learned it from him. So ad libs is everything in the song. You feel what I'm saying? It yeah. really brings the song up. If you have the right ones, it make it even better. How you know do you know which ad lib to, to choose from? It's just like the you go off the top of the head. You go off the top of the head. You like you really feel it. Like what mm -hmm. you now you like it's like it's different. So you listen to the song. Now you you, you hearing your verse. And now it just like freely you just say different shit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Keep talk to him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like it just it's a different shit. You feel what I'm saying? Like mm -hmm. I harmonize like melodies and shit like that. Like mm -hmm. little singing. You feel what I'm saying? Little little high notes. I'm saying like little shit, you feel me? But it all come together and construct it, and it all make the song better. Yeah, no, you were playing a whole bunch of fire new music off um the new project, um and two new projects actually. Yeah, um, I'm not gonna say too much. Yeah, but hold that down. Hold that down. Yeah, fire. But um, one of the most important thing too, like we'll let's talk about the um trapped in Cleveland, three, three. Like. How did you go about, you know, creating that 
project? Like, you know, what were the sessions like? What inspired it? Like, you know, everything. Um, really I did get... all that shit at my fucking townhouse, man. <laughs> really? It was pandemic. The whole oh. 2020. I recorded all that music in 2020. The whole but, pandemic. But how long did... So... Literally... I recorded that tape twice. Twice? Why? What happened? Why twice? Because I did it once. And then... I just felt like it could be better. And mm-hmm. I did it again. But it's like, it's a lot of music. I'm just recording music every day. Like, Was it just you, ultimately, your decision that said it could been better? Or did you have other people to give you input to make you realize? Mine's, you know, I have no, I always go list. I mean, I always listen to, like, you know what I'm saying, my peers and, mm-hmm. and, and, and the big dogs and shit, like, get their criticism and, you know what I'm saying, their advice. And I could take constructive, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, so, which is good. You got to be cultural. You got to be like that, bro. Like, everybody, like, they tell you for your own good. Yes. They've been in the game for a long time. They ain't tell you nothing like that. That's, I think that's one of the benefits of you, you know, being over here and in the system is that yeah. you have people that have done it on such crazy levels to, you know, give you yeah. advice to tell you, like, if they're telling you it ain't it, bro, that shit ain't it. The shit ain't it. They ain't hang on you, bro. Because they gonna say, but they hang, bro. But no, it's no, not it, bro. It ain't it. You folks been in the game 10 years plus. Like, they telling you it's not it. Like, you know how- They not hang on you. <laughs> you know how crazy that is to have a- In rap, to have a career for 10 fucking years? And even- To maintain it. Maintain To maintain it. your name, to maintain the hype, to maintain everything. To even the get status. better over time. Yeah, the, the, the goddamn elevate and just, like, that's what I'm working on. I'm, like, fully, like, ele- elevating and just trying to, like- Reinvent myself and just make sure like new sound. Like, yeah, aiming for new sound. So like on this right now, you're on this journey of like reinventing yourself and everything. What what made you get to this journey? Like what made you want to go reinvent yourself? Because a lot of artists they'll just fucking keep life, life. Yeah, like life opened up my eyes, mm-hmm. and I'm like I just see further than, than what I used to. You feel what I'm saying? I feel and, that. And like I, I'm connecting with. My inner self and like the world, mm-hmm. you feel what I'm saying. So it's like I've been. They think, oh, key, he ain't drop, he ain't doing nothing. No, I'm really doing a lot. Y'all just don't see it. Yeah, I post snippets and stuff on Instagram, but y'all don't see the whole thing of what I got going on. You feel what so what how do you, how do you feel about the fans? Whether it's them, you know, demanding that they want music. Mm-hmm. And also maybe feeling like, yo, key's not as hot anymore, or this or that. Like, yeah. How you been going about that? How are you dealing with that? How are you going to? You it's know, pressure. It's pressure. It's pressure. But How? you know, like it, like I'm, I'm, I'm gonna stand on these ten toes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? Like, but this, I, I ain't no hit one hit wonder. Like, yeah. I, I don't know, no, I don't even know that type of person. Like, you feel what I'm saying? That's around me. You feel me? So, but it's like I don't, I, I, I use that to be my backbone and like to make me stronger. Like, okay, this what y'all think this gonna go on with? Really? Mm-hmm. Ain't, I'm finna work the other one on y'all and I'm finna show y'all like this shit, this shit in me, it's a passion. You didn't get really just rapping, like, no, we, you no, know, we getting the money. Mm-hmm. We, we, no, that's what we're doing to change our lives and change our family lives and the folks around us, our community. Yeah. But some folks ain't have no passion for it, they just rapping. Yeah. I really have a passion for rapping. You feel what I'm saying? If I was to go broke, then I still know how to rap. Like, I still get in the booth and still rap. Well, you know to you, saying? it's like, it's almost like a trade, you know? Yeah. Like, it's this like, this rap, this this, this is my job. Yeah, exactly. You know, it's like nigga. Some niggas know how to plumb. Some yeah, niggas some niggas know how to plumb good. But plumb, your house is like, I just is that, know how to, is that I know how to rap saying? real good. Like good as like good as fuck. Yeah. And and I'm just making sure I do what I got to do. You know what I'm saying? Make sure I just reach them different levels, different aspects in my life. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. When it was like, well, because all right, look, trapped on Cle- um three, trapped on Cleveland three was super hard to me. I thought it was super dope. When I first heard Wavy, I like, oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> I made it in, in pandemic too when it first started. Nigga, you and Earl on that shit. I was like, drum, drum, yeah. drum, drum, drum. And, and, and I really ate. That, that, that was like one of them nights we vibed that mm-hmm. Bel Air on me. That Bel Air. Yeah. I probably had to drink so many bottles of like these, like. You get bottles. the bottles sent to your house? Excuse me. Yeah, I, I, like yeah, I still do. I'm still on. I'm still on that. Um, um, but I got my mama and my grandma and all them on there too. So like they send oh, bottles and yeah. So sure. shout out to Sarah. Shout out to my Bel Air family. Yeah, Rick Ross them. I need some Bel Air in my house. Can, can I? Can I get some Bel Air? 
Yeah, yeah, I'll get you some. Give me some. No one need folks, man. I'm having a really a real relationship. So back to, to the Wavy, right? Yeah. You were recording it during the pandemic and everything. When I heard the song, I thought the song was about to like go crazy. I was like, yo, this is about to be like, oh, this is about to be, this might be Keats one. Like, yeah. this is hard. And I seen Travis jump on the remix. Yeah. So I was like, yo, this is, oh yeah, this is about to go. Like, how, how do you feel like the ult- ultimate, like, um, you know, result of that song like you feel like what could what could have been done better it could have could it could have did more mm-hmm. why you think that though why you think it didn't go off as by itself it could did more yeah but you know the og you know what i'm saying travis scott came and blessed me with his you know what i'm saying his mm-hmm. bars you know, he a great 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 musician you feel what i'm saying yeah and like and thug put that together you feel what i'm saying i ain't never met Travis. i like back then i ain't like never met him no mm-hmm. i did man i take the back i i done met him when he behind the dj booth and doing like his little shit yeah at parties and shit but i ain't never just really had like a conversation with him mm-hmm. you feel what i'm saying so for him to get on it i'm like damn how the fuck he get on this like they surprised me with it i didn't know he already did it well they but he was fucking with the song because he had him posted it on his page Oh. So it made my my stream and stuff go up even more. But then when he got on it, it's like, mm. I mean, it could have been bigger though. But no, nigga ain't tripping. Yeah. And the, the dope thing is like, I feel like I'm glad. I'm just glad that he got on. This, yeah. This, this, this. So I can say, oh yeah, I had Trevor Scott on that waving. Like it just, you feel nigga, me? I saw that. I'm like, oh, this is about to go crazy. I'm like, oh fuck, because yeah. I was like, yo, this song was so hard to me. Like when I first heard it, like I even tweeted about it. Yeah. And your DJ re- repost, retweeted everything. I'm like, yo, this shit's so fire. Um, but yeah, I feel like um, oh, what was I gonna say? I lost my train of thought. My bad. But um, what is your like uh? your like dream collaboration because like you've worked with so much people <laughs> in music yeah. you've worked with like from chris brown to uzi to future yeah like big big you yeah. know what i'm saying like <laughs> these are top people even big sean like yeah some big i ain't know about that feature either i just heard it when it first or i heard it on the tape when it came out oh okay i never met big sean a day in my life so who was in that's another thug thing yeah look at the slime man just Pulling all the strings. Yeah, he, he yeah he, he the man. Yeah, he gonna make sure his artists get what they need to get. Make sure it sound with it how it's supposed to sound. You feel what I'm saying? That's fire. I'm man. saying that's what to call being a CEO. Make sure his team is mm-hmm. where they supposed to be. That's amazing, man. Um, what what you know? What's your dream like collaboration? Who have you haven't worked with that you want to work with? <laughs> in any genre, in any genre of music. Whew. That's crazy, man. Um. I I, I want to work with Wayne. Mm-hmm. I know me and Wayne do some hard shit. Legend, legend. That's like getting your just like that's just always like just the most surreal. I feel like it would be the most surreal moment for any rapper. Like, man, you know the hardest song. Like, I don't know if it went over these folks' head or take care. Young Thug and Wayne, take care. I'm gonna take care of her. I never and heard, Thug know. showed his ass like he really just mm-hmm. he 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 showed up on that verse like on on that song like he meant business mm-hmm. like like he he rapping with Wayne so no and Wayne came in and hit business for sure and he all he never disappoints so and I really love that song it's called Take Care and when you, you know what I'm saying you get time listen to that song bro. I'm definitely shit check old that out. as fuck it's like rich game days like <sighs> legendary man yeah, yeah this shit old. And got them. I, I, um, of course, Drake. I'm gonna do something with Drake, man. Cause I know we can do uh, what, whatever genre he want to do. Mm-hmm. Like I don't, I don't, I'm versatile as a motherfucker. We can do what you want to do. We can do what you want to do, bro. Mm-hmm. I promise you this. And I'll body all that shit. Man, come on, man. I'm handling my business. I'm gonna stand up in the ring. <laughs> yeah. But That's... you know, like if you got some pointers, I'm overly willing to take yeah, your yeah. advice. You feel in, what I'm saying? In the direction. The yeah. first. The first time I heard you was the um, It's Up Freestyle, produced yeah. by Jetson. Mm-hmm. Nigga, I heard that shit. I'm like, who the fuck is this, nigga? I'm like, who the fuck that is this, crazy. nigga, man? Like, yeah. and that was years ago. Like, how do you feel like now? You were signed. You just got signed to Thug at that time? Yeah. Okay. Like, talk to us about those early days. Like, just, you know, like. Like 2018? Yeah, about 2018. Like, the early days of, like. You know the it's up time the nameless time like compared to now now you're like you're very well you know 
deep in this. Like, you know what I'm saying? You've been, what, like, three, <laughs> yeah. four years? And you know exactly yeah. what you're doing I know what the now. fuck I need to be doing. Yeah, so it's like, how how are those times really different? Like, what have you learned on, you know, this journey to here? I learned how to construct a song. Mm-hmm. I learned how to, um, you know what I'm saying? Like, my beat choice, you feel what I'm saying? I'm good at picking the right beats. Mm-hmm. I learned that. I make my best songs be by women. Be by women? It, it, like, no, I'm saying it, 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 it be about women. Like, mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, and like I said, like, I'm like an instrument. You feel what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. throw an instrument. Your voice. Real instrument. You feel what I'm saying? Like, he can do shit that folks can't do, but I came and I messed it. He told me I messed it. He told you or he taught you to? He, did he, he told you? me. You mastered it, bro. Like you know how to do this how, shit. <laughs> how long ago was this that he told you you mastered the the instrument part of you know music? Gunner tour. When I went on Gunner tour, that was twenty nineteen. How do you? How do you even? How, so how do you get to ma- mastering like being you know making your voice instrument and everything? But I, I but if you go back like like to my music like the first shot on Cleveland, mm-hmm. bro, I've been doing this shit. Like I've been I already been doing it, but. Out from him, like I was been looking at him, mm-hmm. but I always have my own sound though. Yeah, you know what I'm saying I don't sound just like Thor. Well, like. I don't think you. I don't think none of you. But it's like I, I get like you. You can you overly like. Well, yeah, they sound like Schlein. Yeah, you feel what I'm saying. But I well, there's not, a reason why he signed you guys. You yeah, know? Like, like you guys are fool. extension of. Yeah, you're an extension of him. Like you can hear all everyone that I think is around him on uh, the raps like obviously he's going to inspire in some way you guys gonna, all looked up to him like, yeah and he's saying. young thug who the fuck he show you inspired? how to pop it like the rich way like, yeah I'm gonna show you how to pop it like you know you know you had your pain you know you had your but I'm gonna show you how to rich rich way pop it like mm-hmm. it's, I, I call it drip talk like it's really like it's wavy as fuck and that should be interesting like damn like it's just crazy bro it's just crazy, bro. Yeah, no. Thug is crazy. Yeah. Well, another um crazy artist that be, you know, going crazy right now. Um, this nigga Cardi's on tour. Narcissist tour looks fucking crazy. Have you yeah. seen any of the videos from it? Mm-mm. Looks fucking crazy. Well, you guys had a song, I think that was supposed to come out on the deluxe or something like that. Yeah. But it didn't end up coming out. It ended up leaking. And fans are so crazy that they constructed a song around They made it. their own song. They made their own fucking song. Like, how do you how do you feel about like leaks, like, and you know how it affects artists in their leaks careers? Will make you so fucking mad, bro. Okay, it is like, mm-hmm. it like the song would be bigger, but you know, like you know, your fans love you so much, they want it, like yeah. they want it so bad. But it just shit. I hate leaks, bro. Like, that one got email. How do you send your music? Just you, you, you as <laughs> Yeah, I use got the airdrop <laughs> to my people. Like I don't like the engineer have. You know what I'm saying? The song yeah. is so hard drive. Would I don't have an email? You don't? No. How do niggas give you beats? They oh like my like I the certain ones I get them my number. They send. It, send oh okay yeah. okay. So it's all I mess. I bought a phone just for beats. So like I put the number on the internet and you know they send beats. So it's like a million beats in there, motherfucker. Jesus. So all right. Since there's a million beats in there, like, how do you go about deciphering like which one? Like yo, I'm I gonna- just do some shit like this. I scroll, and it be fast, and I stop it, and I just click on the one I see. <laughs> And then from there, I just go up or I go down. Hey, that's some spin the wheel shit. My nigga said, that's like some real producers out there right now, bro. Just know to get a little key placement. The nigga goes like this. <laughs> Stop. Because it's so, it's so many fucking beats because they will overload your ass. Like, they're going to overload you, bro. I wonder, what the, I wonder what the science to that would be. Would it be like to send every hour... Or every two hours, or send it spaced that, out, just to kid. catch that one little gap of little Keith's finger going like this. We need to know the yeah. math between that because that who is can some, do the math. That's some whoever out here can do the probability. Do the math. On that. <laughs> yeah. We need that. We need to study on little Keith's beats placements. That is insane, right there. Who? So, 
have you went found any producers that you went back through like that? Like, yo, I need like yeah, 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 yeah. Blue Blood, mm -hmm. Jay Kari, um, Money. Okay. I I, I do beats on um um Baby Wave. You ever met Baby Wave? No, nah, I know what it is. No, Weezy little brother. Oh, oh, babe. yes, yes. Well, I now I know him now. He be Weezy a lot now. He hard as fuck. He doing his thing right now. Yeah. <laughs> on God, he on like seventeen. Like, but he make beats like Weezy. Man, when, <laughs> of course, because it's his little brother. Yeah, little brother. Like that's he see the shit every day. He know how to do this shit. That's amazing. Taurus. Mm -hmm. But you also also have the luxury of having such a dope in house. Yeah, production. like I don't gotta go get no beats from nobody. I can get beats from in house, but I want to give somebody else another chance. Yeah. Which is dope. That's that's get good somebody thing, a man. chance to be able to get hurt. You feel what I'm saying? And change their fucking lives. Cause folks having dope ass beats, dope sound, dope. Yeah. Like drums, like it just everybody ear different. Mm -hmm. And some folks should just wet. I'm like, bro, this shit ain't there. I can't rap <laughs> on this, bro. This is some A B C D E F G type shit. Like, no, no, not it. What are you? So what are you ultimately looking for in a beat then? Like, what's gonna make you want to get on it? Is it the melody? Is the hi hat? Is it the 808? Is it a certain 808 snare? 808 for sure. 808 and melody. Mm -hmm. The How way it come on, the way it flow, like the way like the vibe is on it. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. I can li like, now I can listen to a song with a knocking ass 808 and I stop mm -hmm. at the first three, four seconds. And I'll be like, uh, cut it off. Pull it up. I don't never listen to the whole beat. Never. I never listen to the whole so beat. So just that gap of three seconds you got. It's that's it. This past the intro though. Then when the, when the beat drop, doom, I like in three, four seconds, I should hear a lot of shit. So you should hear your own lyrics already in your head? Yeah, or? I should already then them coming up with a fucking hook. Like the first couple, like the first line of a hook. Three seconds for a hook. Or the first line at least. Yeah. That's fucking crazy. Damn. Do or at least ever, the start of like just the, like the beginning of it. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. Do you ever feel like you can hear like words in the melodies and shit? When I used to of rap course. growing up, I hear that. I used to hear like the yeah. words and the That's shit. That's why I like them dope ass like Taurus do this a lot. Like he put them, them, them samples like them old school samples. Like they be singing in the background. I love them type of mm -hmm. type of beats. That's the vibe you're on right now. Yeah, that's the type of vibe. That's the type of space I'm in. Okay. Grown man shit. Yeah. <laughs> wine, white wine shit. Yeah. <laughs> white wine and the black and mild. No, that's horrible. <laughs> I'm joking. You did. But uh okay. So um what are you working on? You working on the new album right now? Key talk to him too. Key talk to him too. Yeah, what can we what, what can we you tell the fans about Key Talk Talk to him too? It's better than the Key Talk to him the first one. That's and Key Talk to him the first one. It's tough. Mm -hmm. you no, know, I had Brandy on there. I had Dirk. I had Day Day. I had um, what's that? I had Nameless. That one Nameless had them pop. Yeah, you know, random story. Um, at the time, I was sending music to when I was I was on No Jumper. At the time, I was sending music to Justin Incredible from Hot ninety seven for Power One O. That's out here. The DJ out yeah. here, and he was I know like, exactly what you're talking about. Yeah, he was like, "What are you listening to?" Da da, and I sent him that song. What name is? Yes, and he put it on the radio, out here. Shout out to you, my brother. Thank you so he much. He tagged me and everything. He was like, I was like, what the fuck? That was a crazy moment. Like, I made. Oh my god, the name is the same night. We did. Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, I ain't never leave the seat. What? Okay, well, you making all those hits and all the night, and now you told me you're making like fucking six songs a day. Um, what What does Lil Key do when he feels uninspired and doesn't want to do this shit anymore? How do you get back to that, you know, that space of like, yo, to loving music again? I feel like every artist goes to um, this. Movies got a lot to do with it. Like, I watch movies and mm -hmm. you know, just talk shit all day. Like, you know what I'm saying? Just have a good laugh. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And by that time, you having that good laugh and you chill around the studio. And then some, it just like, it hits you in your stomach. Like, but, oh, but I, I got to rap. Mm -hmm. I woke, I wake up out my sleep, bro. There's no cap. It could be I could be deep sleep, and I could be rapping in my sleep, bro. Like in like in my dream. Yeah. And I wake up and make the song. Yo, have you ever made a song in your dream, like the subconscious? Music? Yeah, that's what I'm telling you, bro. That shit is so crazy. As like you ask the engineers here, like, oh, what what time key come? Oh, key might come waking nigga up at five in the morning. 
They in there. Man, get up. Come on, I got some. Shit's so crazy. You know what? That's the craziest thing about dreams and like truly creative people is that like regular people, they just create their dreams and shit, but like creative people, like they'll make music in their dreams. Like, yeah. Like every song, if it's not like a song that you personally know and it's like a beat, whatever, it's just like a piano thing that you've never heard before. Yeah. You created that in your fucking dream. Exactly. That shit used to blow my mind growing up. Like, what this the fuck? This shit is real, bro. It's so crazy, bro. Sleep is a crazy thing, bro. Like, you it's know, it's like a beautiful fun. thing. You need it. Yeah, oh God. You been sleeping a lot? You getting good sleep? Yeah, I get great sleep. This is rapping, nigga. Yeah, I know y'all niggas. Y'all not now. Oh, we be up. Y'all be up over here. We I, up. We always up. I heard, the, the, I think uh, Turbo was talking about Thug, like, being the last to go to sleep, like, and he'll, like, purposely do it just to make niggas work more, like, type shit. Yeah, he'll be the last to go to sleep for sure. Sometimes he'll go down. He'll go down. And you might be up, but he'll wake up. He gonna wake up. You might alarm? see him, like, it just, but just, Little funny, bro. He, he just <laughs> interesting, bro. Like he's uh -huh. interesting person. Like. You think he's like not a human being? Like he's like <laughs> I don't know what some shit. He, he him like you feel me? He just different. That's all it is. He just yeah. different in his own way. He just but he he a great person. Yeah, real team player, real CEO, bro. Like he'll help you. Like if you want to see, like he want to he'll give it to you if you really need it. Like, mm -hmm. He ain't just giving it to you because you want it. But if you really, really need Shania, and he overly coming up for you, like, yeah. and he don't want nothing back off of it, like, I'm cool. What do you think is like the best advice Thug has given you? That oh, it's probably, because I'm sure he's given you many advice. Say your money, it'll say you. In say your money, it'll say you. Yeah. That's the best. Not gonna lie, that's a great advice, because the pandemic happened and a lot of niggas wasn't saving. Yeah. I'm niggas. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> niggas is I. <laughs> Pandemic make you make, make nigga it made a nigga work hard. Shit. Harder. And then like six months later E D D came around. And then niggas is shit. I don't even know nothing about no E D D. Yeah. Okay. I don't like, know what that I is. I just already getting money. Yeah. So, God. Like, I was already popping this shit. A P them. Like I'm already popping this shit. I'll pop this shit twenty eighteen. EDD, EDD is fun. It's a funny, that was a funny time and period. And there was nothing in the stores. Guess All what, my guess, favorite but, stores. But guess what I see now, though? Not to cut you off. I see like everybody wearing Cartier. It's like, we wearing that shit like three years ago. Yeah. I was lying. Like, we been wearing Cartier. And EDD. my little brother matching Cartier. Like, mm -hmm. But now it's popular. Like, everybody wear Cartier. It's like, a girl and niggas gonna go get a Cartier. They're gonna be their first watch. Fuck a rolling. They ain't gonna go get no roll. They're gonna get a Cartier. Mm hmm. Watch, that's what everybody aiming for. I see everybody with Cartier, like, it ain't even, nigga don't even want them watching no more, like, this shit. I already did I, this shit. I personally want a Rolex. I want something that's gonna appreciate in value. Yeah. <laughs> like, no diamonds. No, none when of that go shit. up in value. Yeah, man. It's not it's liabilities. Not liabilities. Man. No liabilities, man. Assets. I done lost a lot of jewelry. I know. I done had whole steel jewelry. You had some bitches steel jewelry before? Fuck well, yeah, I got a watch and a ring stolen from me. What the fuck? Wait, so did you just like wake up in the and, morning? Your shit was gone. I swear to God, like pandemic, I lost. Bro, I paid. Goddamn, someone went for this ring from wifey. It was like like the big championship looking ring. Mm -hmm. And a hoe came over, and goddamn, like I had already yeah. hit her, like yeah, yeah. her and her friend, like three of them did. Uh -huh. let, man, yeah. It's so like three, four months yeah. later, she done came back like without her friend though. She was just trying to get in. Uh -huh. You feel what I'm saying? So I done let her come over there. Got now I was recording. I went ahead of my bending, took care of that. Yeah. But I took my ring off in the middle of what we was doing. And mm -hmm. it was in the sheets. But I let her, you know what I'm saying? After I get down ahead of my bending, you know, I go in the mirror, get right, get myself together. I go back in the room, record, <laughs> forgot the ring was in the fucking bed. Yeah. Like but you know, I'm I'm rapping, I'm like, bro, something ain't right. It's something that I'm missing. I'm missing something, bro. But by this time, she already gone. Like she, you know, you don't use a girl or coming in like, well, I'm finna go. Mm -hmm. Give me a hug, I'm finna go, hit me. She ain't do none of that. She gone. Like she, man. She seen I don't give a fuck. I don't yeah. care. Like she gone, okay, boo. Mm -hmm. 
Where did this ring get though? I get the. I look at my hand. That way I keep looking at my hand while I'm rapping. Like man, I'm missing something, bro. It ain't the what. I said, oh shit, my ring. You know, like, like you, you know, you forget something. Like, oh shit. Mm-hmm. I hop up, I go in there, shake the sheets. I know this motherfucker in the sheets because I just put it in the sheets. I just took it off and just dropped it in the bed, like while I'm having my Benny. Shotty stole my ring. Shotty hit me with a tip, man. She like, this for you did me and my friend like that. You 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 put us at the house. I got your ring. I said, damn. I said, damn. You gonna, the ring, huh? I said, damn. You gonna steal my ring? <laughs> I said, but you know you got Brandon Ring back, right? Yeah. Like, Brandon motherfucker back. Like, you tripping. They go with my attire, baby. Like, I ain't never seen that ring ever, like, ever since. This shit, like, last, like, this shit a year ago. Damn. I ain't never seen her again. And I done seen this a million times around the clubs. I ain't never seen her ever since then. She hiding. Bitch, hiding for the ring. Yeah, I wonder, she how, much she, she, I wonder yeah. how much she sold it and got for it. Nothing. She didn't. She didn't. No, she done sold that motherfucker. Somebody done metal that motherfucker down. Got some other shit. Mm. But this motherfucker said key biggie fuck. Now that she tried to go sell it in North Carolina, they called me. You know I got folks out there, so they called me like, "Hey, bro, some, some a girl and her nigga just pulled off trying to sell your ring to us for fifteen thousand. But I said, man, bring her ass back, man. Tell her like, what do? Yeah, uh-huh. she gone. I ain't seen that shit since. Now a watch, same way. A girl stole my watch. You like I'm just, just in the mall. Was was any of these happening, bro? Nigga, fucking like nigga taking a jury like right, this is my house. I can lay my jury anywhere I want to. Mm-hmm. Like, bitch, why are you stealing though? No, oh, oh, just pity. trifling, trifling hoes, stealing nigga shit. But now you like I'm keeping all my jury on. I like my listen, like on oh, God, bro. A I, lot of these niggas I got jury stolen from them. All that shit, man. This shit just yeah. I mean, come it's a, what, come what you do. It, yeah, exactly. You learn, you learn and you live. You know when you gotta like how the bitch sleep over and shit. You gotta like put her in one of these. Oh, like, I'm telling you, oh, I'm telling <laughs> who don't play by that jury. Got it? Don't play by that jury. Hey man, y'all put. Hey, he'll come and take jury off me while I'm sleep. All that man. Hey man, give me the he'll put it on. Go on by. He'll be in the he'll take it to the aisle. Mike, if, like, if your fuck brother shit at? Huh? If your brother sees you in there with a girl, he'll come take it off. He come to get the jury, and jury ain't going missing. We got it. Got to keep what up a with good all brother, jury, man. That's a good brother right there. He don't bush. He not going back and forth with nobody about that jury, man. I'm putting you down. <laughs> <laughs> boy gonna stay icy now. Oh God, man. Hockey. Yeah. Damn. Yeah, man. I be like, that's the one thing. I be every time a bitch come over, I just be like, they just be stealing, just right, like bro. they they really find Fuck. something to steal. Not all girls, but bitches be coming over to just look for something, something to steal. Something like, bro, bitch, no. Especially after you handle your business, it's like she be like doing that to you, and you like you agitated with her. You really just want her to leave, but you right. just be like, God damn. But now you I, like know, I like bitches staying the night. Man, sometimes you gotta get the fuck on, man. Just go ahead, you gotta handle BDD, man. Nah, that's gonna be on go. some quick shit, but like, if I'm like out partying and the night is like, well, you see, you're yeah. a rapper, you gotta go get up and go to the studio after you get handed your Benny. Yeah. Me, I'm like, fuck, I'm drunk as hell, it's two o'clock, like, bitch, where you going? I wanna hit in the morning. Nah, it be the night where you just vibe. Yeah. Vibe, yeah. vibe. Like, you gotta just pick the right one, yeah. bro. You can just, all that. Oh, God. Ratchet. Yo, look like she finna steal something. <laughs> but you see still her. wanna fuck though. That's the problem. You know she's gonna steal or do some you wild gotta shit. Gotta fuck a wretch. Like, yo, I will, I will always fuck me some wretched bitches. Oh God, like, forever. What did Juicy say? You say <laughs> yeah. you say no to a ratchet ju- pussy, Juicy J. Cut. <laughs> yeah, like you can't, can't, bro. It's so funny. I was with my one. Wretched other. bitches be better, like like better than like bad bitches. Like, um, real bro, shit. they be more. Fu- you know, what I like I like fun girls. Like I yeah. like. Like the girl that know how to f- have fun for fucking days or just like yeah. a night, like yeah. oh, sh- I'm she's like life for the party. Yeah, like a bitch that's gonna have fun. Like she, like I don't do drugs, but all right, bitch, you know what I'm saying? Like I any any scenario, any place, I t- anywhere I take her, like, bitch gonna have fun. Go up, you know what I'm saying? Like yo, like I drink, I'm a drinker and shit. Like I don't do drugs, I don't do none of that. You know what I'm saying? I just be chilling, I just fucking drink and shit. But like, it be like girls I go out with them and they don't drink, and I'm like, bro, you boring ass bitch, bro. <laughs> yeah. We not hanging out after this. What the fuck? Yeah. No, it's just it's crazy, bro. The lifestyle, crazy. I love it. It's yeah. a movie every day. It's crazy. You, you, yeah, I'm sure it fucking feels like a fucking movie every day. Like, like since I've been this shit, I don't had long nights, bro. How many? What's the most you ever stayed up? Like, how many nights you? Stayed? <laughs> 
<laughs> man, you gonna stay up so many days, like days, like a week. You stayed up for a week. Yeah, before? Nah, I ain't stayed up for no goddamn week. I ain't that goddamn. A nigga needs sleep, bro. He ain't just doing all that. You know what I'm saying, I didn't stay about two, three days. Just working, just run around the lobby. But goddamn, but not no damn week. I know for who do that though. You know rappers that stay up for a week? Yes, I do. But it's just part of they been doing it, so it's like it ain't. Yeah, they're used to it. Fuck. Yeah. Been up for a week. Holy fuck. I couldn't even imagine. I love to sleep. Your body ain't collapsed yet, bro. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> like, I can't do that shit. Fuck no. Bro. I'm telling you, I'm going down. I go down anyway. I'm going to sleep, bro. Bro, I'm a I'm a nap person. I got a nap. Yeah. Like, I gotta take a nap. My whole family are nappers. We all nap. Like, nigga. Like, I got a nap. I can't do that shit. I feel like, though, the way my life is moving, like, things are progressively getting more and more bigger by the sense. I'm going to end up having to, like, be up for days. Like, nigga, nah. You got to yeah. be flying. Because they did, like, flights would be, like, six hours. You know what I'm saying? Well, no, you sleep on the plane. But sometimes I can't. I get morning sleep. flights. Like, six, seven in the morning flights. So that you can for sure sleep. I'm still gonna be up all night anyway, so I'm yeah. I know when I sit down on this plane, and the motherfucker get to moving, I'm gonna sleep before the motherfucker even get to moving. Like I'm already sleep. Uh, I put my music in my ear, put the motherfucker on repeat or whatever song. Like I might listen to the same song. I would tell I get the where I'm at. Speaking on listening to the same song, what's like a go to album for you that you are constantly, you can constantly go back. Like, what's your GOAT album that you can listen to every single song? And not a one of your own, but in any genre of music. Um, Barter Six. Barter Six? I think I'm OD on drugs. Mm-hmm. Nigga, I started a fight inside the club. They was switched up on my broom, not a duck. Yeah. I got a friend of car assassin on some ducks. Yeah. Baby said she gonna hit me out with my partner. Uh-huh. I'm still saying, fuck the crunch stoppers. Yes, I hit you up, go do a duck for my partner. Yeah. yeah. Right in the back there like a scrub for my partner. Lucky if you buck for my partner. Yeah. This shit hard. Man, bar. I should love to my partner. I'm gonna fuck a hoe when I leave the club, Jeff for my partner. Bruh. I might pull up and I might pull Jeff for my partner. You know what I'm saying? He just Bruh. popping that shit. Like, it's crazy. Like, I can visualize everything he's saying because I'm from the trenches. Like, I Man, know. This is my shit off bar this shit right here. I got few shit off here, but. I'll play it on ease. I know. Oh, yeah, for sure. <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck? Hey. Yeah. I don't roll with them over from Talk to Bar. 2015? Hell, time. Have a birthday. Have a Saturday. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. He tripping. Uh. Hercules. Oh, my gosh, bro. Boom. Boom. Yeah. Will it be? Yeah. But the chain on my neck is a T. <laughs> Bitch, I own a rock, not Jay Z. Bro. Yeah. Why is that, ni- bro? <laughs> what the fuck, bro? That shit amazing, bro. It's Fucking classic, bro. Oh. The man, the myth, the legend. Ski. Come on in the camera real quick, man. I forgot a cough syrup, man. Yes, sir. Yeah. I'm going to pull out of this shit, yeah. out of this shit man. Oh, boy. That's dub. no dub in here. I'm yeah, Seski. Yeah. yeah. my boy, too. Of course. It's a legend, boy, man. man. He real, okay. real shit, player. Man. I'm a player. Doing the little Keat interview right now. We just been bullshitting about yeah, look, all look, 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 at, look at it. Watch. Look. With Nigga rich here. Yeah. Oh, you went. How you went, man? Went <laughs> that Halloween motherfucker, too. He said, what you gonna be following? I said, you doing that right now. That, 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 uh, he, and look, that motherfucker knew. What are you gonna be for for, from, uh, for Halloween? Oh, yeah, that is, that's your heart. Yeah, that motherfucker hard. That, that, uh, what that, that, AP? Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. Sashki, rubber band. Oh, uh, he said, what, what, what I'm gonna you, be? Yeah. I ain't never think about it. I might be Tessie Chainsaw Massacre. Have you been that before though? Because I know nah, you I never been it. So this is the final of the year. This is my first year. I'm doing the makeup with it, it. Yeah, I'm gonna go to a fucking. I never been to a costume party. If, if if you have a bitch, with you, you just gotta have her dress up as some like a kill, like just like yeah, her whole shit fucked up with blood all on her. But like yeah, it's the bitch. She'll I dress up as um, yeah, like um, what's her name? Mary. What's it? Mary. 
His sister. Mm-hmm. His, yeah. Or or the bride of Chucky. Uh, what's what's the white bitch that be in Chucky movies? Y'all know what I'm talking about. Yeah, the, the bride of Chucky. The I bad white one. bitch. Oh, you talking about the one with red men? I mean, red men was in that shit. Yeah, yeah nigga. The white girl. Yeah. She was oh, sexy, bro. She had. She just had such good sex appeal, man. I stopped fucking white women though. What you wear, dog? Halloween, <laughs> man. Batman, Bruce Wayne. Yeah, Sersky. Yeah, Sersky. Batmobile, Batman. <laughs> yeah. Popping it. Well, I can see it now. You, and I believe you too. Mm-hmm. That bitch gonna pull up. I'm telling it. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, boy. Let's go. He coming in. That one gonna be trim too. Mm-hmm. I'm already knowing. All right. So when you're out, the last, you know, the last album came out, Trapped on Cleveland 3, right? Yeah. You did um, a Reddit Ask Me Anything. And you know, one of the questions was, "What makes you stand out from the crowd?" And you responded and said, "Because I tend to give real insight to my life." Exactly. What song of yours you feel like gives the most insight to your life? Oh my God! And what, why? Why you think so? I'm saying some like real shit that was really going on. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Some folk like they rap about it, but they don't really just like. You know what I'm saying? They ain't never just been in them situations and I've been in real life death situations and it's like I just sometimes I don't talk about it, but sometimes I do, it depends on how I feel. Yeah. I don't nah. talk about I don't talk about too much. That's all right. But that's dope though, that you know, being transparent and that's an outlet. I'm sure music yeah. is therapy for you in yeah. a sense, you know. You, music therapy to everybody. Everybody need music, bro. Yeah. Whatever no matter what genre it is. You ever see all those like polls and things of like It'd be like four things and what can't you live without? Yeah. And it'd be like chicken. It'd be like weed. Can't live without music. Henny and music. It's like, and you get to only choose three. And it's like, that's hard. But for me, it's easy because I don't smoke. So chicken, henny, and music is coming with me. Yeah, for sure. You lit. You know. That's, that's all you need. <laughs> that's coming with me for sure. You got to feed the liquor. Got to. Music, and the music will help you turn what up you on the know? liquor. You some henny? Yeah, that's Hennessy. I want Hennessy tonight. You want it? I ain't drawing Hennessy in two years. So, great minds fucking think alike. I, last week, stopped drinking the tequila because I was like, fuck. I'm, just drinking. I'm so used to this tequila drunk. I'm like, yeah. what the fuck? Does I forgot what Henny felt like. A Henny drunk felt oh, like. I went back to I want to see what it felt like again. You know what I'm saying? I was like, nah. So, and the homie saw me. The homie like, what you doing with that? Everybody not drinking that? I'm like, nah, bro. This is vintage now. Yeah. The Henny drunk is technically I it's know how vintage. To, I, yeah, I just know how to like control this. I was just drunk. Like, mm-hmm. <sighs> go to sleep everywhere. I went sleep in Ubers. I don't want to sleep. A lot of like jury money on me. Like I don't want to sleep. Oh my like liabilities. <laughs> and liabilities. Just oh stupid God. ass, dumb ass, young shit. Oh my gosh. Well, all right. Um, what have you been listening to recently? Like besides your own shit, what if what if you know you maybe found inspiration? Whether it's a random song or something like that. Got four five beats just living it up. Off Punk with Post Malone, mm-hmm. ASAP Rocky and Thought. Sheesh. What what when was that sign you and Thought made some shit? When when can we expect some new music from you too? I ain't made Thought. I mean I ain't made a song with Thought in so long. Really? Not that long, but it's been a while. So. Like some months, some months. Yeah. How how does you know working with Thug? Uh, like how does that happen? Is it just a thing that it you depends guys on like, each other like if he or? in the mood to record? Like you can tell him like they do something, he'll do it. Like he'll get on the song. Mm-hmm. But do you? That's usually- why I respect my future. Like you bring song the future, he'll get on. It. If it's hard, he'll gonna he gonna get on. That. He gonna do it right there in front of you. Wow. Hey, that's why I fought with future hard. Do you you feel like you like maybe are saving the right song for Thug to be on right now or? It's just like you haven't found something. Well, yeah. Man, man Snow got a lot of songs, man. Mm-hmm. Yeah, think about it. We got a lot of songs. So, it's like, by nothing ain't, like, you can't go wrong with making a new song. Mm-hmm. It, like, I record music every day because I want to listen to something new every day. So, you're only listening to yourself right now? Mm-hmm. That's I don't know nobody's music right now except Punk. I don't listen to nobody else shit. I been listening to a little, uh, I, no, I listen to the, um, the remix to the, the Leonardo shit. Yeah, draw. Home going up. You feel what I'm saying? Slime like shoddy. Night. Slime like shoddy be slime. Uh huh. Oomphunk. Shout out Oomphunk. Oomphunk's gotten a lot better. 
To yeah. me, I feel like he's for sure right now making. Yeah, hey, but all all of them find their craft. Like they ain't found. Mm-hmm. They, they just just not popping off. Like mm-hmm. yeah, you got a long way to go, man. It's it's a long journey. It's it's, it's a, a great journey for you to learn. Mm-hmm. Get you some knowledge, apply to your life, I mean, whatever case it may be. You know what I'm saying, I'm, I'm just, I love learning. Mm-hmm. So how, 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 have you, how did you feel like at first when you know people were you know not were basically like, oh, I don't know if Key don't got it no more, this and that, da da da, like or whatever, like them just doubting you or doubt <laughs> you, like how when that first happened, like how were you dealing with it? I, I, I ain't know how to take it at first. Like, God damn, what the fuck wrong with these folk? Mm-hmm. And then, but then. It give like I said, it give you motivation. Like, it made me go hard. It made, let me reinvent myself. Let me get to get them a new sound. Yeah, but still keep the old. I give them the the old key, but the new me, like my new sound. Though. Mm-hmm. Yeah, less singing, more rapping. So it's more after you got that, and you took that criticism or whatever it was. You were took like, it like you? a man. I ain't never. You ain't never see me go up like, oh, hey, y'all, mm-hmm. fuck y'all, y'all. I ain't for what. Yeah. You don't see me going on Instagram. You're really just like, well, you're being honest. Nothing. Well, you're being honest with yourself. Okay, it's time for me to like. Yeah, it's time for me to level up. Level up, like, cause some people will take that and just be like, they'll just act weird, not be coachable in a sense. Like, no, nah, well, it's time for me to hit that next gear level. Yeah. Like, yo, they're telling me this. Yo, like, we might all the be- family, your family rappers don't went through it. Like, mm-hmm. everybody don't went through this shit. Well, that's they leveled just- up. Kept going, like you feel what I'm saying. Life keep going, shit don't stop. So it's like, as my some of my, one of my good friends would say, that's being self aware. You're being yeah. self aware to the shit. Like, all right, well, maybe they not fucking with us. I need to go fully self aware. Yeah, go back to the drawing board, and I'm gonna give you. I'm gonna devise a plan, whether that's recording more, you know, getting more strategic, and get just more re- in business, yeah. just getting more. I wasn't in the mix. I start. I stopped like men in clubs and shit. Like, I started just standing home with my daughter. I wasn't recording none of that. I was just like, I was feeling it like, damn. Mm-hmm. I had to get my mind, I had to get myself together mentally. Can't do nothing if you ain't together mentally. What you gonna do? Yeah. You ain't right in the head. What you gonna do? I ain't even do no stupid, dumb shit. I fell back. I fell back from Schlein. I fell back from everybody. I ain't like, talk to nobody. So you was just at the house? You. I'm just chilling with my mom my mom and them, my brother and them. Were they actively reaching out or they wasn't? Yeah, they, I was saying like, no, like texting them and shit like that. But as far as coming around, you I'm kinda... coming around. Okay. And it'll come around because I'm trying to, I can't be around y'all if I can't, if I, if I ain't together. Like, I don't want y'all to think like, well, key tripping. I don't, yeah. No, I want y'all, every time y'all come around me, I want you to be like, we having a good time. But is there also too like, because like, you know, there is a support system there for you overly, in a sense. Yeah. There's overly, there's so many of you guys. You guys ever felt like you have like real moments and real talks We have our differences. We have our differences. Everybody, all right, yeah, yeah. everybody. Everybody ain't right. I don't get no damn who the hell you at. Yeah. Okay, how my money got you. Ain't, if I feel like you wrong, you wrong. Wrong, yeah. And then how my money got your ass wrong, you wrong. Because just the like, same way you can tell me I'm wrong, yeah. your ass is wrong. Same too. And I if feel like if I can't tell you, you wrong then shit what the hell we, what we that's weird kicking it for that's actually weird stuff because it's funny because life ends up like that it always ends up with people the deciding factors that drive people at the end of life when we get to these ages or whatever is two things do i have more money than you yeah. they cannot beat you up yeah so it's always the, the, the it's prideful two conversation always ends like well fuck it i'm richer than that nigga and it's just like that's stupid how do we get anywhere from this if you're just gonna i be don't like, want to be i don't want to be the nigga who get a lot of money and can't take advice from nobody it's no fucking money. crazy it's the dumbest shit it's just like but it also goes back to the great you know like i look at it like this it's like what the fuck is a king to a god and what's a god to a king like yeah. bro like in the reality, that actually doesn't matter. Like, yeah, it's cool. Like, you got a lot of money, but it's like, bro, you gotta. That's so un. You're not being human. Yeah. Like, you're letting the money like take you away from being a yeah. person. I've been the same since day one, man. Yeah. I'm yeah. forever gonna die like that. So it's like. And then it's funny too because you'll see a lot of rappers. That's why I always know when I see a rapper posting boxing videos that he's had that conversation. It might have been his first time or something like that. He's like, "Oh damn, I actually can't beat this thing up. Let me go take some boxing lessons and show niggas." Like, yeah, I know. Yeah, they get intimidated by niggas and they have to go take boxing, boxing lessons. lessons. Literally, that's all it is. I I'd be like, "Why no, I still ain't took them new? Like, what is somebody? We ain't took them new, man." 
Because we're going to jump your ass. It don't even matter. <laughs> so it don't even matter. We all together. We all one. We all going together, man. Hey, hey, that's the best. We ain't going to let nobody go out bad. Oh, we together, God. man. That's part of being a family, man. We all take this shit together, but we ain't stupid. Mm-hmm. We're not fighting stupid battles. Over no, here. we're not fighting no stupid ass battles. They're gonna Dumb. fuck up our life, you know. Exactly. Like, listen, I'd we rather tolerate tell them. that. We don't tolerate no thieves. No, no, none. You stealing? It's better to tell your homie like, "Yeah, bro, you tripping, bro." But yo, ass hey, tripping. You we tripping. don't get to argue. We only got to talk for a month. Couple weeks, mm-hmm. but yeah, we have a trip. You gonna come back around? And be like, yeah, I was tripping, bro. Yeah, I really was tripping. You tripping? Now, now when it, when it right then and there, some folks will take that criticism. Like, yeah, I'm tripping, bro. I'm tri- you right? I'm tripping. I'm gonna chill out. Mm-hmm. Some folks can't. Some folks you got just don't talk the air for a while. Then yeah. they'll get right, but then they'll do it again. <sighs> yeah, they right. get right just to come back around and do. It, you know what I'm saying just to do it again. Yeah, and I can't have it. You gotta learn to cut niggas off when it's. When it's detrimental, liabilities once again. <laughs> but um, so we, we try to build an empire. We trying to mm-hmm. be wealthy, not rich. You know what I'm saying? It's a difference. Big difference, man. Well, all right. We usually do this to close it out and everything. What is your message for our generation? My message to our generation is to live, to learn, and to satisfy the people that that, that, that it was there for you and like like I'll take care of the people that was there for you before everything. Yeah. The right ones, not everybody. Everybody ain't there. If folks were there with, like I know partners who were with me mm-hmm. when I ain't had nothing, but they ain't mean they good for me. Yeah. I mean by take care of the real people who who really took care of you. And and just make sure you handle your business and, and like I said, save your money, money will save you. Gotti, where you at? Come in again real quick. Oh yeah, guess the way. He's bringing his guy clothes over. I got that top of brother jaw, guy. Oh, oh. <laughs> I got that top of brother jaw, man. I thought you did. Yeah, he did. Oh. Hey, this, we just yeah, talking about artists. I signed a nigga about five years ago, man. I was a dumb ass nigga. It's just a stupid ass song. Oh, man. Well, this was good. This is a very relaxed and cool interview. I felt like I had a bunch of other shit to talk, like question, question shit to talk about. I'm like, nah, that's not that vibe. We chilling. We chilling. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, I love to chill. I I I love I love interviews like this, bro. It's like I feel like I get to know you as a person. You know, like really. And not just fucking so. Did you do that? <laughs> Shout out to our generation, man. I love this interview. I really thank y'all for Thank that. you, man. We love you. Hey, man. We love Lil Keith over here. Can't wait to see. Keith out to him. Can't, man, can't wait for y'all to hear this music. I definitely, um, I can't, I ain't gonna talk about it. I ain't gonna spoil it for y'all. It's coming, though. That shit coming. Yes, yeah, actually, slap business. All right, see you for life. <laughs>